Hey guys, welcome back. So, I did uh, restart the game. Uh, not necessarily the console, but because, let's face it. Mass Effect on PS3 is just going to be choppy. There's no way getting around it, so... I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Just wait till we find out about the double cross that happens when we get there. It's like, no, actually, we're not going to do a a, an inv a fleet. Not really, anyway. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. <laughs> That's it? You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. <laughs> I cannot wait for them to answer, <laughs> to respond to this little aspect. N realizing that what they just said was complete... What, how do you pronounce? Idiotacy? Idiocy? That they're a bunch of idiots? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Just wait till these you politics bastard. are you're absolutely worth nothing when they get here. It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now <laughs> let me do mine. We've uh... got to all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Odina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I hate that no matter what choice you make by the end of this, he still ends up on the Council in number three, regardless of your choice. But we'll get to that later. What's up, Ash? I hate being right. <laughs> Me too. I wish I could say I was surprised. I was surprised Udina bought into it. I guess he's like any other politician. Of course the he council's is. The used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. Mm-hmm. And eat them, I guess. Huh. I don't care if I have to go through the council. I won't let Sovereign win. That's the spirit, Skipper. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. Yeah. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. Oh there. my. You made me say it. <laughs> Boom goes my feminine mystique. <laughs> oh, I want to say this just to hear her reaction. I didn't think you'd want mystique. I've always thought of you as the take charge type. Oh, I can take charge if you want. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh yeah. You see guys, Ash isn't so bad. 
Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Sounds important. You'd better go. A lot of people always give Ash a lot of crap. Saying that she's... All she is is a racist and things like that. But he here, she even acknowledges. She even says, look, I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know. And people never give Ash a chance. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Ash is better than what some people give her credit for. That's all I'm saying. There we go. Of course, sticking with my go-to duo here, Ash and Garrus. Exogeny officials have announced that their research colony on Pharos is being shut down. <laughs> Difficult living conditions combined with poor yield of viable discoveries made it economically unfeasible to keep the colony going. <laughs> Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Funny that the text there was backwards in what it said. It said, uh... What did it say? Unlivable economically? It had the words backwards, like, in the wrong positions. I don't think I ever had my final confrontation with, uh, the fan. Oh, for a second I thought this was the reporter. I thought she came back like, Ha! Guess what? <laughs> By the way, Hackett contacted me and he said, Shepard, yeah, everyone's really unhappy with you back on Earth. And I was like, yeah, I don't care what they think. <laughs> In fact, hold on. Let me check real quick if he's still there. Is he still here? He's not there. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping he'd be there one more time. Probably would have been had I gone here after I got the Yara, but because we're now in the end game, certain things are not available to me anymore, I guess. Oh, that's right. There's this... Yeah, there's this specific uh, quest here I forgot about. Wait, what was that thing I saw over there? Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Explain yourself. Cram your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. <laughs> with Armistice Day, Ash, why are you so close? Is heard by the alien Ash, you're supposed to be back here behind me. Why are you I up there? I'm your support in the next election. <laughs> why are you up there? I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand? Our core value is that Earth. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views. But our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. I don't think it's extreme to stand up for our inalienable human rights. No pun intended. <laughs> of course, Commander. Wow. <laughs> no pun intended. You're marking the end of As the first... As we have every year for... If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I'm pretty sure I asked him all these questions in my first run. Every day I stand up for humanity. Often in the face of bullets. What have you done lately? You really think speeches help? We all serve in our own way, Commander. I'm not a soldier, but I can tell the public why they should support your efforts. Wearing a ribbon on your lapel makes you a hero, huh? You want to help humanity? Get out of your office and pitch in. I, uh, I assure you, I'm only interested in the betterment of humanity. The same as you, Commander. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of... You have to... You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. 
I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. Huh. It is gratifying to hear that. Interesting dialogue, he says, if you like make that Shen choice. To happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. Huh. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. We need more politicians with the courage to stand up for human rights. Excellent. I'll have my people contact you. Don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. You know what I find funny? Regardless of the choice you make here, I'm pretty sure that uh, nothing comes from that. I can't remember anything in 2 or 3 that has to do with that conversation. Which is kind of disappointing. That you would want Have some of your... Soldier? Can I take a moment of your time? Oh. Oh, I never did this. Was I never here in flux? Did I never come here before? I guess not, because now I'm having two side quests prompt themselves right here. This guy and this guy. The two different side quests that you can do here. Oh my gosh, I was not really expecting this. Let me see if yeah, I can skip some Seems dialogue here. Didn't like... have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. It only is an experiment. It still sounds Deal. like... Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, and that... I've spent... I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose... Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. I wonder if giving it to Doran is there's a renegade choice for that. Let's Soldier, I've we'll got find a major out in a moment. situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. My name is Elias. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity. I don't on this remember one. seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Dude, just grab an energy drink or something. Why is this deal so important? Or a cup the of coffee. The want to set up... If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole is deal. Is your assistant would... incompetent, or just inexperienced? Worse, he's an alien sympathizer. <laughs> My assistant wants to bend. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. You're saying that what with the Turian right behind exactly? me. Keep oh, that in mind, the pal. Methods. It helps me stay focused. He's literally he's standing sharp. behind me, Nothing and you're saying that. I'm Come on. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiation. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over and is your assistant worse. incompetent? Same thing before. My, no race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Hold on. Getting you your drug fix isn't high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. Go to the med clinic and purchase the drug that Keeler needs for his treaty negotiation. Scan the machines. If you've gotten your temper back under control, I could still use help. Keeler, you've got it a problem. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators Let me check my choices here. close to the legal limit. It's the way ah, the game is played. Ah, here we go. Don't be an idiot. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. 
You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulus. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That sounds like an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. All right, there we go. Completed the mission and got renegade points for it. Good to see another human in here. Rita! Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. <laughs> I just forgot. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. I'll talk to you in a moment, Anderson. Just sit tight. Patron Jenna. Hey there, welcome to Flex. <laughs> She's like, oh hi. Now let me check my options talking to Doran. Hello again. Can I help you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. I think that tool should be worth something to you. I suppose it is. Uh, take a few tries of Quasar on the house. <laughs> Fine. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. You know what's funny? It showed the... I was supposed to get some kind of monetary reward there, and it showed zero. So, did you record five It's probably because I have max uh, money. That's probably why. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. <laughs> You're no help at all. Silly Solarian. Anderson! I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. I'm sorry, for a moment I almost said Goliath when I heard that voice. <laughs> I actually rewatched uh, Gargoyles recently. Man, did I love him as Goliath. Absolutely loved Gargoyles. You had to know what was going to happen. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you docked. Getting testy with him. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. <laughs> you're darn you tootin' to I am. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. So in my first run, obviously I told him to just break into Eugenia's office. This time, let's see what happens when he does Citadel Control. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. 
I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. Oh, what am I gonna do now? Too bad you can't, like, look at the map uh, for different levels. All you can do is look at the current map in the area you're in. You can't, like, let me select this and let it, you know, let you look at the map at other different areas. It's a real shame. Alright, so let's just go ahead and uh, go to the academy. To C-Sec, so we can go to the Normandy and get out of here. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle and his cultists refused to surrender and were killed in the resulting firefight. Little late on that report. I did that quite some time ago. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. All right, let's see Anderson Sir, in action. This is a restricted area. Sir, you can't be up here. Freeze! Back away from the console! Uh-oh. Hands up! Now! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Came through before they... They got him. Get us him. out of here, Joker. Now! I love how the music just got cut out. Okay. Can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. Oh, Presley. It's so sad that you don't make it. Past the intro of the next game. Let's go see if Ashley has anything quickly to chat about before we set off for Ilos. We'll 
before we get to see her again. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ah, the elevators. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a... Oh, really? That's it? odds are against us. But I'm... That's what pisses me off. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Okay, never mind. No one else has anything to say, I guess. It was only Presley. Well, that was kind of a waste of time. I guess I'll just go back to the map and just set our destination for Ilos. Before I do this, let me of course make a manual save, just in case. Ilos. Well, hello. Skipper. What is it? For now. The Alliance has to catch me before they can strip my rank. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Huh. Whitman? First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm hmm. not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. <laughs> we are. We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. And if we don't, at least we won't have to face the firing squad. Death <laughs> closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done not unbecoming men that strove with gods we'll get home again shepherd i believe you'll lead us through oh captain my captain ash you are such a softy at heart aren't you you put you may put a tough outlook but you're just a softy romantic aren't you <laughs> hey hello it occurs to me that this might be our last night alive Got any plans? <laughs> you got any plans? Trying a fungus. <laughs> so. All that training, you'd think they'd teach you the best approaches indirect to draw the enemy out of their fixed defenses. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold words, Shepard. I like bold. Get over here. Shut up and get over here. Make me. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. 
<laughs> so coy. Hey -o. They want to send the kids out of the room for a moment. <laughs> It's actually not as, uh, what's the word to use here? It's not as, uh... Well, now, that's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> I'll respond to that in a second. Uh, it's not as, uh, you, I guess maybe the word I could use is risque as the one with Liara. That one was a little more, uh, a little bit more extensive in the cutscene, but, uh... <laughs> Why don't we make it 40? You still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. Uh. Now, what will it take to prove I'm in prime condition, Skipper? Uh. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. I can tell you right now, the voice actors had a ball recording the these bridge, lines. Skipper. This dialogue. Other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Oh, I'm coming back. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. <laughs> to Ilos. Rendering. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. <laughs> we have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. You forget we have Joker. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Alright. And of course I'm going with my go-to squad, Ash and Garrus. Ah, the final mission. Gosh, the textures. The textures do not look good. You two, keep moving inside now. to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. Okay, could someone turn There's the no amp down that door with <laughs> on force. this planet? Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Boom, boom, boom. boom. It's like someone's got the amp turned up way too loud on this planet. <laughs> okay. So we're going to stop here. I'm obviously going to be going through the, uh, you know, the parts where we battle. I'm thinking that where we'll continue next could be where we talk to Vigil. But really there's nothing that can be different from that conversation. 
uh, compared to my original run, so there may not be much point to actually recording that and then continuing from there. Because really, the only changes that can really happen uh, in a Renegade run that are different from your Paragon run are pretty much not until we get to the Presidium and to the Citadel Council's uh, chambers on, on the top of the Citadel Tower. So I'm thinking that that's where we may continue next. Now, maybe I'll change my mind along the way here if I come across something that makes me go, oh, yeah, that's right. But as far as off the top of my head, I can recall, I don't. there's nothing really different in terms of Renegade changes that would be different from my original Paragon run that I think would be worth uh, showing you guys. So off the top of my head, I think the next what will continue when I get through all the gameplay shooting uh, part where we get to the the council chambers and make some pivotal choices there stay tuned